Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos I produce. Make sure you click the link below if you wanna get access to over 25 of my swing dance courses. Now today, I'm gonna to be scrutinizing a new Lindy Hop uh, Jack and Jill competition in uh, Wrocław, of Poland. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, it's an advanced level, which is really good. So I'm unfamiliar with this area. I've only been to Krakow, Poland, so I don't know about this city. Don't know too much about the dancers, but let's take a look. This video is 19 minutes long, and I doubt I'll need to watch 100% of it to get the gist of who I think will be the winner, but uh, we'll see how far we get into it in, in order for me to have a verdict. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, looks like five couples. And a live band, yes. Please let me know the name of the band in the comments section, guys. I would appreciate that. I, I really do appreciate that when you guys do uh, let me know the names of certain dancers and certain bands. Uh, sometimes you want to get good music and you just don't know the name of the, the band. You can't order it. But we have the internet and we can actually order things now, which is great. All right. Okay. Um, this is interesting. <laughs> A running cameraman. <laughs> he just crept across the screen like Spider Man. It was awesome. Boom. Crowd is in it, into it. They're, they're seeming uh, to be really excited. This is going to be good. All right. Okay. Conversing with the musicians, figuring out if the audience is excited about this or not. And it looks like they are. And so am I. I was once in Jack and Jill too. <laughs> yeah, let's not, go. Not in the finals, I didn't qualify. Let's see if it's gonna be fast, I don't know. Oh good, not too fast. Okay, names, that's awesome. Okay, Jesse and Matthias. Not sure how to pronounce that name. Please forgive me. Yes. I love that that vintage sequence. It really takes a lot of trust for followers to uh, be able to know where the leader's going to be when they do that move. Yeah, splits and all. All right. Let's see, Michael and Agnes. All right, here we go. Oh, there's nothing like dancing to a live band, guys. And, and it's really hard to describe that feeling watching this online. It's not the same. It really isn't. All right, Paulina and Eonut. I'm not sure how to say it. Forgive me, guys. All right. Yes. All right. 
William and Issa. Hey, that was cool. Okay, looking good. Oh, Tomash. And W, it looks like. Kiwa. This looks like uh, the second round. Let's see what happens here. If there's a major deviation in personality or not. Yeah, good transition. Line him up. Yes, let's see where we're at on time. I got a good snapshot of who I think is the winner of this competition with the footage so far. Uh, let's see if the tempo deviates too dramatically. Um, let's take a look here real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, guys. It may look like they're gonna do some, some slower tempos, slow drag, blue stuff. All right, I gotta say, uh, first off, this competition really makes me wanna get up and start practicing. I don't know why that is. Actually, I do know why that is. I think it's just the energy level of many of these dancers. It's so contagious. It just makes you wanna just get up when they're excited, the audience is excited, the judges are excited, and you just wanna get up and start moving. And uh, I love that feeling after, at the conclusion of a competition. I. I I prefer that than just the boredom of, eh, let me get back to social dancing. Mm. No, this was fun. This was really fun. But I got to say, I, I'm kind of torn in, ter in the terms of, was it really good or was it just good? 
It's kind of like when you go to the movies, you have an expectation for a certain movie you've been waiting for, you know, a, like a Christopher Nolan movie or a good Marvel movie or a good DC movie. And your excitement level's really high. You've prepared yourself for failure, you know, that it's going to bomb. And then when you go see the movie, it's unfortunately just a good movie. Not incredibly good, not transcendent, not superlative on some new level of artistry. No, it's just a good movie. That feeling of it is more disheartening for me sometimes. And I feel that the energy level in this competition is kind of giving me that vibe. I feel like all, most of the leaders in this competition had an incredible amount of energy that matched their the followers energy, but it was more than their partner's energy. I'd say f four out of the five couples had this. And in doing so, it almost made the leaders seem like they were just leaving their partners. It's like, hey, do you wanna go get something to eat? Yeah, I wanna get something to see ya. <laughs> they just bounce before the person, you know, fully commits and, and they don't wait for them. They just kind of leave. And I feel like a lot of the leads in this one kind of made it hard for me as an audience member to appreciate the followers because every time something started, there was just a bit of a, of a rush to get somewhere else without waiting for the essence of, of what's going on to finish. And that's the follower. They're, they're the response to the call. They don't, they don't respond. Nothing happens. It's just starting stuff, right? So yeah, I'm a little torn because I think what's funny is my favorite couple in this one would have to be this couple. And I'm happy they have names on this one because now uh, I can say your name. I might botch it, but I can at least see who it is and their name. And I appreciate that. And so the couple that stood out to me was Issa and William. And here's why they stood out to me. It's for the very reason I just mentioned is that I don't see at any point William leaving her. And as you notice, there's an initiation and now I can pay attention to Isa. I see her movements a little bit more. I don't feel like she's being rushed. And I feel like William is moving with her at a level that's 50, 50, even that little trick that they did where he ducks under. I think that may have been one of the only fancy moves that he initiated. But the great part is that you can see it. You could actually see it's intended for his partner to make the move happen. He just starts the move, but she made the move happen. And the ending there, uh, that's wonderful. There were three points of reference that I could see. The fancy move, uh, a crossover step with the movements where I could see Issa moving her, her legs back and forth. And then in the end, when they do something together, I think for me, that was the highlight of the whole competition was, whoa, the leader is not leaving his partner. And she actually looks so much better because he was more relaxed than she was. She had a lot of energy, but he wasn't trying to like outdo her. And, and that part I appreciate. And I got to say this, I didn't particularly enjoy their style per se. You know, that's, that's a preference thing, the style or the, the way that they move and the way their body types look. I didn't appreciate that. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. There's certain things you can change about your style. And there's certain things you can't change. And sometimes judges simply don't like you. <laughs> it's not like I don't know, like I don't like them or I don't know them, which I don't. But in this case, I didn't prefer their style over a couple of other dancers that I liked. But I will say their package as a whole was way better than the, the other couples that I noticed. Uh, they had The others had fragmented points that I liked. There were moments of glory and exceptionalism and distinction but I don't think it was done in a way that brought honor to the unit of, of a leader and a follower. So that's how I have it, guys. What do you guys think about this one? This was pretty interesting. That's how I feel. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. I've never been to this event, so I'm curious to see if this is like a first time this event's happened or if this is a reoccurring event. Um, let me know, guys. This is pretty cool that uh, it was a re really supportive audience and uh, it seemed like everybody was happy to be there. And it, I didn't feel like the, there was any passive aggressive posturing with the dancers. They were just out there having a good time and being supportive uh, to one another. So 
keep up that spirit guys that's really cool so let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section below if i don't see your comments below hopefully i get a chance to see some of you in my class online see you